In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the fifth component to any effective defense in Madden 21, and that is the ability to get pressure on your opponent. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to know whenever we release new videos that can help you get better on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And now we are in the midst of a series where we're teaching you how you can can have the best defense in Madden 21 and the way that you can do this is through focusing on the five key elements to defense the first of the five is a good solid run defense we covered that a couple videos back um, the second thing is a good solid match coverage defense similar to uh, cover four quarters or cover four palms or cover three match those are all um, components of that the third element is to have the ability to play solid zone drop defense um, so you can you know, we talked about putting your flats on 30, your curl flats on 10, your hook curls on five, and how to build some really powerful zone coverage concepts out of that. The fourth component is the ability to play man-to-man -man defense, the ability to cover tight man-to-man -man coverage. And then the fifth component is the ability to blitz the quarterback. And so we're gonna share with you in this video a very good defense, a very good blitz that you can utilize. It's very fast to set up. It's actually very, very effective. And again, if you want to learn the entire defensive guide that I actually run myself, it's the nickel 335, the nickel 335 wide, and the nickel normal. Those three are my primary defensive packages. And if you wanna get my entire defensive guide, I will leave a link in the description to that. You can get that entire defensive guide for just $15. And again, that link is gonna be down in the description. I'll also try to put it in the comment section for you. But the play that we're gonna focus in on for pressure, so we're actually gonna to go to this 335 wide here. And the play that we wanna make sure we have in our audibles is the Mike Blitz 3. If you take a look at it here, you can see it's actually a super, super simple blitz setup. Uh, we're gonna be sending five people at the quarterback and we're gonna get one free. And I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do that. I'm also gonna share with you in this video a little tutorial on how you can actually go about building your own blitzes in Madden 21 from whatever formation it is that you want to blitz out of. So we're gonna come out in the cover four drop like we always do out of the 335, and we're gonna audible down into the Mike Blitz 3. Now, um, you'll see here just quick little audible just like that it looks exactly like that and all we're going to do as we you know as our custom is we like to go ahead and shift our defensive line um, to the left side so just like that we're going to crash our defensive line out and we're going to stand kind of right in here and that's pretty much it the blitz is pretty much set up at the snap of the ball all i'm going to do is kind of try to occupy the center here but as you notice in the gun bunch the shifting of it sometimes causes us a little bit of issues. And so how do you deal with that? What do you do? Well, one of the easy things that you can do is you want to look at the shadows of the line. So you can see here that if I shift my defensive line to the right and maybe I stand like right here with my user, I might have, you know, a little bit more effective, but as you can see here, the blitz still gets picked up. And so for different formations, the shift is kind of a little bit differently. Sometimes you want to shift them out. Sometimes you want to shift them one way or the other way with the, um, with the gun bunch in particular, what you want to do is you actually just want to simply keep it as is. And as you can see right there, the pressure is going to scream right through the A gap or uh, through the B gap. So as you can see right here, all I'm doing is I'm literally just press coveraging and I'm crashing my line out. And you'll see that we get fairly good pressure right there. And I want, to, I want you to kind of notice that underneath the linemen, when you have your user on a blitz, if you take a look here, you probably will see that there are two shadows underneath the center and underneath the left guard. Okay, so underneath this guy right here and underneath this guy. Now, if I move with my user, you're gonna see that I can change the shadows. So if I move to the left here, now the shadows are underneath the tackle and the guard. If I move to the right, you see it's the center of the right guard and I can move accordingly. So when we talk about where do you wanna shift, we wanna focus in on who do we want to hold? Who is the person that is causing the biggest problem that we can deal with? So if I shift my defensive line to the left, as you can see right here, then I might not wanna stand right here, right? I might wanna stand here and ultimately I might even wanna stand kind of like right in here. Okay, and so what you'll see here is if I run off, you're gonna see that we're able to get the pressure much, much easier. 
that is one simple little way that you can actually go about making your own blitzes. Essentially, what you want to do is you want to ask the question, who do I want to hold and why? So if I wanted to send pressure off the right edge, maybe I would shift my defensive line to the right, and maybe I would stand kind of right in here, and I would basically just run at this tackle, and as you can see, we're able to still get pretty solid pressure. Okay, another example of this is when you want a user rush. So depending on the gap that you want to uh, take, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you are to the left. So as you see right here, like if I try to user rush right here, it's going to be a little bit easier for them to pick me up right here. They don't, they don't end up doing it, but it is definitely a little bit easier for the offense, especially if they slide protect. So what you can do is essentially you're going to do the same thing. So we're going to shift our defensive line this way. But instead of putting my guy here, as you notice, I'm occupying the center and the guard. I want to put him over here. And now I'm occupying the guard and the tackle. And the center doesn't have a prayer at stopping me because of the way that the, um, the, way that the line feature works. You can use this principle for anything. So for example, let's say I wanted to blitz out of the 335 normal. So what I might want to do is I might want to go ahead and send some pressure off the right edge. So I can blitz the slot corner. I can blitz the linebacker on the right here. And then I just need to figure out where do I need to stand to make this pressure happen? Well, a couple of things that you might want to consider is again, where do I need to stand? So I want to make sure that I can take this guard out of the play. That's really the guy that I want to take care of. And so at the step of the ball, I'm just going to run down into the right. And you're going to see that based on that stance, we're gonna be able to generate some different types of pressure. You can apply this literally to every single thing. Now, another style of blitz from the 335 wide is what do you do whenever they block the running back? Well, my favorite thing to do is simply add one to the equation. So I'm just gonna blitz the slot corner here. We're gonna set everything else up exactly the same. You see, we're gonna shift our line to the left. We wanna make sure we're occupying the tackle. And then at the snap of the ball, as you can see, we're gonna send some pressure off of the edge just like that. So that's another little system. So the beauty of this is that this blitz, and this is another thing that's really, really important. You want your blitz to look exactly the same as your coverage. So this is our primary coverage defense right here. Um, another way of showing the same basic principle is to do something like this, right? If I do something like this, this is pretty solid. This is like our primary coverage against bunch right here. And so if I want to, you see, it looks exactly the same as the pressure, but now we're in max coverage. And now, as you can see, we're letting our linemen go crazy. Okay, now if we want to send pressure in the same exact look, we're just going to shift our D-line to the right. We're going to press coverage just like so. And then now we know we want to stand kind of right in here and kind of occupy the center right there. I didn't do a great job of it. But as you can see, you know, we're able to get some pressure. Ultimately, the best way to play gun bunch, this is just my personal opinion, is to actually use your lineman as a spread because then basically, you know, wherever, whichever side you want to drop off, you can. And in my opinion, you actually get a little bit better pressure off of the edge. So then when they come into a situation where they might want to, um, they might want to basically go ahead and block their running back and you say, okay, well, what I want to do is I want to send, you know, a plus one to the equation here. Now, as you'll see, the pressure comes instantly right off the edge when you spread them as opposed to whenever you just shift them one way or the other. So those are some things that you want to be concerned about. Um, if you want a user rush with this, um, it, again, it just kind of comes down to where you stand. But if you want to run right through the middle, you actually can. As you can see right there, you know, easy little user rush. One little tip for user rushing is you almost always want to put your player on a purple zone. That will help it a ton. And again, you'll notice like just based off where I stand, that's gonna determine where I wanna go. As you can see, I wanna to go to the right. If I'm going right, if I'm going left, I wanna to go to the left. Those are some of the things that are just simple and subtle, but they make a big, big, big difference, okay? Where you stand does actually make a difference with your user. And so if you're good, you'll learn, okay, I need to stand here or I need to stand over here um, based on the formation and based on the blocking mechanics. So that is the fifth component to being successful on defense in man 21 if you want to learn my entire defensive guide i literally walk you through all of the different pressures that i can do out of 335 and 335 wide and then i also walk you through all of the coverage schemes the run defenses the zone drops the man coverages all of the different things that it takes to be successful in madden 21 on the defensive side of the ball we've got you covered in my 335 wide defensive guide if you want to start 
getting consistent stops on defense in Madden 21, I would highly, highly recommend that you pick up that defensive guide. It is just $15. It's been the best defense really since Madden 20 was really when we started developing this concept. And so I would encourage you to pick it up. It's literally straight from the source. This is the best defense of the game. We've been running it since June of 2020. So we almost have a full year in this defense. And I still say this defense is consistently the best defense in Madden 21. So if you want to get the best defense, it's in the description. You can get it for just 15 bucks.